Somebody got a buff. <laughs> uh, oh, I did a thing. But hey, I might as well give uh, Yumiko the uh, second chance that she deserves. And yes, I'm going to keep saying a certain thing because, um, things. And I, I, you know, just to get you curious about why Yumiko is Yumiko. But hey, at least I can play Zektask now because we are on 1.0G. But uh, as we get into Zektas, World of Horror character exclusive, uh, Yumiko. Hey, somebody got some buffs and another perk. But uh, yeah, so uh, I mean, there was some confusion um, because I saw other people playing as well. And there were some confusion when Yumiko's uh, people saw Yumiko doing prep attack and prep attack. And now we know the reason why. Unfortunately, on Harbinger, you have to go a little with through a little more effort, but uh, that way, which does change things, but let me do Charisma, Knowledge, Taxi San, Light, Dexterity, and Second Mystery very quick. But in other words, um, I, I mean, uh, Yumiko, uh, yeah, has gotten a lot, well, there are still some things to, uh, you know, be wary about, but, I mean, it was very much needed. So, uh, while I did say it, prep attack, prep attack might be a bit much with swing and hit, um, you still have to slow burn because it's not like you get it mystery one, and on Harbinger, um, it's, uh, you don't have five strength to prep attack, prep attack. So, I mean, it's still, in my opinion, balanced uh, Yumiko is still pretty balanced in terms of fun you can have when you are trying to, you know, put some hard work in and complete the mysteries as we get Scissors, Flood, Sailors, Footage, and Kana. So we'll grab Kana and, uh, yeah, move on. Kana will help out immensely though, so there is still RNG, there is still, you, you, you still have, um, choices as a player to make, but, um... Yeah, it's <laughs> it's still it's not too much e uh, well, too much easier, but it is a much needed buff. Also, um, again, depends on God and or backstory as well. Because uh, let me do a thing. I'm not gonna edit this out because I'm doing things. Um, yeah, and certain like say medical history. If you get broken bones, uh, that's strength and dexterity. Uh, yeah, you lose one strength, one dexterity. If you um. Go to Frostbite land, that immediately messes you up, even on an easier difficulty, and, uh, funny enough, yeah, I told about timeline art changes and stuff, that also means that based on if it, so, it's not just a stylistic change, because when you think about it, that means you can kind, you can start, uh, not telling, but how do you, identifying what timeline you're on, or you're on, by the art you see in a mystery. I believe. Again, have to go through testing because 1.0, uh, obviously this wasn't a thing in the last updates, so hey. And also the luck of what encounters you run into. I've watched a few, quite a few people play, I'll just take the three turn by the way, because I'm only losing two reasons, but I've seen quite a few people play, play Harbinger in the past uh, 36 hours, and it's very interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, it's very interesting. So, uh, I did not police station, but uh, that's just how confident, I've, confident I feel. We have Flood, um, and we have something else, I feel, uh, so I'm just gonna do Forest, otherwise, Downtown wouldn't be bad, I probably have a few Downtown as well, but, uh, let's just do Forest and turn our brain off a little bit. Again, if nothing else, if I, yeah, yeah, I could still lose and or die, uh, in-game, but, um, you know, if I, if I end up losing, I mean, I should be clear to you by now, if you've been watching the past few videos I've made, on uh, how, you know, how winnable Harbinger is, you still have to work for it. <laughs> and you, st you you do have a real life luck stat involving uh, which events you run into and whether or not you'll do things. So I'm going to specifically do this uh, because I want to level up ASAP. And uh, lo and behold, I'll just say this now, I did an off recording as Yumiko. Usually I like to test things uh, on an off recording, uh, not just on new characters, usually on challenges or things like that that I make myself. However, as we wait for these eels to end the mystery for me, um, yeah, I never got swinging a hit and I leveled up four times in a Yumiko run and I just got really sad. That being said, I still, uh, I think I died that round because I forgot my second encounter. Funny enough, but, um, <laughs> definitely winnable and you don't need swing and hit. It is very helpful though. And as I said in a previous video, I think I wanted to touch on this as we get time skip, is that uh, with the third perk, it does get harder for you to get swing and hit. That's just how probability works. However, it's not like sh uh, she has four perks still.
So, um, you know, you still have a good chance. It's just not the best because you also have to roll against generic perks. Uh, we're also going to proc Zectast in a hot moment, and we have Scissors into Flood. So this is uh, a thing. Also, I want to do footage ASAP, but in fear of uh, a bad... Well, I mean, I can save scissors, scissors for last or later, but do I want to is the question. And then also you have the Baseball to kind of help the slow burn, meaning uh, get out of Mysteries much more efficiently without having to rely on swinging it. That way you're not just sitting there going, man, I wish I had swinging a hit. At least you have baseball. At least you have a weapon to start with. So you have more dude to work with. Again, it's I believe it's still balanced in that way. Uh, that being said, we're definitely taking Flood, Third Mystery, or earlier. Um, scissors is what I'm thinking about, but... And then Sailors is going to be last. I usually save Sailors for last because of item things. And Sailors, funny enough, uh, doesn't take you as much out of town as possible because Seaside still counts and is not yet part of the things like Roads Closed. Obviously, if you have a threat level increase, but that's also why I'm saving it last because the later... Um, because since I know I'm not going to be investigating the Seaside much, I will um, police station it during uh, Sailors and therefore, theoretically, save on Doom. But again, I'm talking about general strategies here because it's not all, always based on the character. It does play a... Uh, who you're playing as does or can play a big part. You could just brute force and try to play the same strategy on every character. Give everyone a monkey wrench, buy a monkey wrench, and then just move on with life. But uh, because I'm pretty sure... Again, I haven't tested it out because I'm, you know, playing with the lucky bat. But I'm pretty sure you don't need to be using the lucky bat to make use of the perk swing and hit. That being said, getting... Uh, this is the most... Zecta I mean... Three is probably the most. I might get a fourth and fifth one, but it's been a while since I've seen three, at least three Zectast events, meaning getting my stats increased. Um, and with that said, funny enough, now I don't need to put as many points in strength, but I still want to plan eventually beca uh, because it would have been great to get Iwa there, but uh, that's a thing. We do have a Sato. So let's grab two spells and, well... That's interesting, but uh, probably just going to be reason healing. And then once I... Yeah, so if nothing else, you can treat Asato as two reason healing. Depends, though. Again, it, it depends because there are uh, things that can happen. Um, think, this is... I also got fungal growth in my off recording, but uh, if you get a spell that when you discard something else happens, obviously you don't get reason healing. But that I think that's pretty balanced um, because we didn't have that before, and so spells were just reason healing. And now there are spells where if you get them and I proceed to nearly die, um, yeah, you can't just turn your brain off. So, yeah. But I have yet... Did I even run into a single encounter yet? Why is the game doing this to me? We have Flood, so I'm just going to do this. That way I can maybe grab a pack of cigarettes later. That will really help out, actually. But And we're going to find out for sure what our thresholds are going to be. We do get Swing and Hit, but I need to heal Reason. Because we're going to lose re three Reason there. Two for the event. And one because uh, Dangerous Threat... I call it High, so I go None, Low, High, Max. Uh, because there are too many syllables involved. But, I mean... Lore-wise, you call the threat levels as they are, as we get out of footage, and probably into Flood. Yeah, Flood would be the better one, because I, well, I could still die to um, Reason, but let's do a thing first. Um, for Reason, that will that should get me through one investigation in Flood. Uh, Flood, you start off with a stamina encounter. So, uh, yeah, I did not, I really didn't run into a single encounter until Mystery 3. I think this is the first time that's happened, but anywho... Unless I ran into something else. I'm pretty sure I didn't, though. So you get 12 damage. That, that all I need to say. But again, you have you do have to work. It's Mystery 3, and I finally got to make use of it. So, you know, heart, don't don't let it be said that it gets that much easier. It does get easier. I mean, it that that's your reward, though, right? Because also you have to roll against events. But, hey. Um, and then that being said, we'll see what how Yumiko fares in Flood. I can harbor a guess, but we're here now, so we might as well find out. Uh, and then you can still do weird things. I think I've seen someone doing uh, Desperation. Oh, well, assume I'm doing Desperation. I can actually do, uh, not Ally Attack, uh, Prep, and to make it act like it. And someone do this, but uh, if you ha if your odds are good, you still want to do this. I'm pretty sure, right? Because 6, 12, 14 damage when you do Strong with Swing and Hit. Uh, and then, yes, while well, you don't Swing and Hit here, uh, or not 16, 14, 14, because 6 times 2, 12. Yeah, plus 2 is 14. I did say that. But if you can hit both of these... And as right now, you can even do a prep attack. So this is 10 plus uh, 
eight. So you get 18 HPs worth here. Just a little optimization thing that I saw someone uh, glance over. But anywho. Um, that being said. Uh, I feel like I can opt. Well, obviously I can throw the empty bottle and optimize. I'm thinking here because uh, we're in flood and bad things are about to happen to my reason. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to rest through the whole mystery. So, um, while I think about this, you know, we might as well talk about the flood resting thing. Again, if you didn't already know or didn't listen to me talk about it before, in flood, uh, after you grab a researcher, you can rest or immediately escape. I wouldn't recommend you immediately escape. And there's, you might be wondering, well, that means you can just freely rest, right? Yes and no, because you're, uh, to get ending A, among other, uh, reasons to do so, um, you have to save all the researchers, um, which on certain backgrounds and, you know, in certain situations might be better for you. Usually when you're doing a lot better, I think I'm just going to do this. Yeah. One reason, but I'm really valuing this one reason because Flood is a recent boss, but that's why you rest so that you can top yourself off on a reason because you're probably just eating it a lot. That's the one of you. We finally, well, with the addition of Flood in a previous update, um, Basically, there's a fight where you might want to do actions like combat skill or distract the enemy because you're probably in there for four, four or five turns on it. Uh, like, you know, usually when you're fighting that boss. I don't want to throw the empty bottle. Uh, I can do this. Yeah, I guess we should do this. So I, I would have, I didn't even, I, well, I didn't think about it, but I was looking at my dexterity and I was like, well, I have six dexterity. I should be able to do this. So 50%. Again, this is a very specific moment to use dodge. I know I said I use it as a last resort in my tips video. That's a very broad tip that I think is still mostly applies. But, you know, if you have the luxury to and the enemy is doing uh, pretty much one damage where brace has no use. Because if it had been doing two damage, then I brace, obviously, uh, for a more reliable strat. But that doesn't mean you can't still go for a dodge either. Again... Uh, it's just that I don't believe in RNG, and I wouldn't advise people to do so, which is why I uh, say the things I did in said the uh, gave the tips that I did in the tips video. Anywho, again, it's kind of contradict well not contradictory. Nice eleven roll by the way. Um, and we're gonna rest because we lost reason. But uh, it might sound odd that I'm saying this, and the people who watch the tips video who don't watch this video will never learn this. But I guess, I mean, if if you want to be weird about it, oh, this is your reward for continuing to watch my videos. You'll get the asterisk, which is, you know, normally too. When anyone puts out a guide or tips video, you do have to, you know, think broadly when things are true and when they aren't. Like, uh, dodge as your last resort isn't always true, obviously. But I still think it's a good, safe tip to think about. Because I see people dodging left and right, and you know what? I did get triggered when people dodge four times in a row and just like, yeah, it's fine. I'm just like, oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> so, it, it, this is very funny, though. Um, uh, Anything to do. Um, I know I just broke my thought and just spoke out loud, so it sounded really weird. Anything to do. But, um, let's see. I mean, if we really, really think about it, we get out in about... Um, also, we have Kana, so we're really only taking min minus one reason. But if I can be more optimal damage-wise, that would help as well. Um, uh, prep attack, prep attack. Um, and I do thankfully get to break my prep attack. So what I mean by that is uh, for double encounters. Um, I mean it might not. It might be obvious to some, but just to say it for those who you know. Uh, haven't really thought about it yet. When you deal two or three attacks, you don't want to do like this. Say say you, you don't want to do this. Because you don't want... If you can defeat the enemy with a normal attack, which I can here with a prep attack, you might as well save your bigger damage roll for uh, the second hit, if that makes any sense. Because you basically any damage you do is wasted. Uh, so if you do like 99 HP or 99 damage to the enemy B, but uh, you only do like 4 damage to the enemy A, obviously you should switch that around if it, you were to defeat it in 4 or 5 HP, and then do 99 damage to the boss, if that makes any sense. Or the other enemy, depending. But anywho, uh, I think I'm just going to turn my brain off a little bit more so I can uh, concentrate on both commentary and talking later. So here again is another dodge moment because I know it's usually... Uh, I should have talked about this, but the, the turn before the kill turn or the turn before you're going to defeat an enemy or um, most likely to defeat an enemy, you should probably... Um, you can think about dodging or bracing 
Because if you're going to get out, the uh, the enemy will no longer be able to hit you. So, again, even that weird, but even if Pantstaz, whether Pantstaz did or didn't think about that, is uh, it does add a bit of, uh, well, more strategy and, you know, more fun. Because uh, you basically sit in timelines where, am I going to dodge or am I going to brace if it's uh, uh, two? Do I just want to go out of my mind? Because maybe you want to defeat it faster and you have something better to do. Um... But yeah, I think I'm just going to dodge because, again, you don't get anything out of bracing on one damage. You do, you still get something out of dodging. And if you're going to get hit anyway and get out next turn anyway, you might as well throw in a dodge. Usually, again, I prefer bracing even if it's two or, oh, if, especially if it's two or three damage. But you can do dodge as well. Again, I'm not a dodge player, but um, uh, yeah, anywho. So Haunting Dreams is, uh, as my voice breaks, Haunting Dreams is Yumiko's... Uh, um, I'm thinking about my uh, stats. I could do this as well. Uh, I feel bad about my reason, but I'm going to take this. So funny enough, I almost thought I couldn't increase my per perception. I'm going crazy, but, um, but perception, do we have a perception perk? Am I going crazy? Yeah, we do. Art knowledge, art knowledge, art knowledge. Anywho, uh, we're going to take this. I would take haunting dreams, which is Yumiko's new perk that has been, I don't think that was in a patch note, but it was just there. So, hey. Uh, obviously I would still notice something like that because I did a whole video on Yumiko being like, eh, could be better, but definitely not Terra bad. And now Yumiko is, I mean, that literally straight up buffed the lucky bat. And then, um, I feel like there's one or two other things aside from obviously getting haunting dreams, but, uh, I guess into scissors I go, I am a lot healthier now than I was before. So I will be thankful for that. Um... I don't think I'm going to handcuff anything. I just want to hold on to this bat. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. Also, I mean, I need to grab the friend's diary regardless. But hey, we're on timeline A. Star, star. Um, so uh, this is... This could be bad. But we'll see. If nothing else, I'm for... Well, actually, we have Kana. We have Kana. So it sh this should hurt less. But we'll see. Uh, we'll check the lockers because we'll check the lockers. And we'll probably get a pack of cigarettes. In I'm doing well, very well Doom-wise, basically. So it turns out when you stop... And I did get Perception, so I could have gotten Haunting Dreams. I could have also increased Strength. Either one of those options, or and can increase Strength. Sorry, because Perk and Stat. But you get what I mean. I I couldn't foresee that. But anywho. Yeah, so we did get four Zektast events. But um, yeah, didn't foresee that. So we're actually taking normal damage here, uh, Harbinger-wise, because Kana... Fourth mystery versus Kana, damage increase, damage decrease. And we get out in two turns and I'm full on stamina, so that's one of the few times I'm willing to just eat three stamina to the face, if you haven't heard me say that already. But again, if I'm speaking out loud, it's for at least for no one else than myself. But usually it's to give you my thoughts. And if you learn anything from it or retain um, your strats against what I tell you, then do whatever you want. Again, uh, I, I believe player expression, I mean, it's not just in fighting games or games where you it has more um, weight on your hand-eye coordination abilities and uh, point-clicky abilities, I guess we'll say. Another three stamina damage? I'm pretty sure I can brace, right? Well, I can't prep, that's for sure. Um, And I can't even do a thing. Mmm... The only reason I'm not willing to take this, I know I have a bottle of water and I have a lump of flesh, but... Hmm. Um... Uh... I could throw the wooden bat. I want to save that for... Well, I mean, so here I know it's going to break a threshold. Uh, if I remembered the scissor lady's uh, HP better, based on mystery scaling as well, I would be doing a lot better, but... Anywho, again, any player out, I mean, yeah, well, I mean, that's true too. Any player out there who can remember things a lot better uh, will definitely see their worth in World of Horror. Just uh, see more worth in World of Horror. Here, though, I can at least give you my, you know, impart the knowledge I know and you run with it. And I like to see people succeed. So, yeah.
I salute anyone who plays Harbinger. <laughs> um, so to do, but hey, that's charisma. And let me just make sure. I can't handcuff the scissor lady, but I might as well. Because I've forgotten about things in the storage for Again, if nothing else, if I haven't said it before, um, I mean, after 1.0 came out, I know I said it before 1.0 came out, but essentially World of Horror is a chess game because every move is an event or an encounter and you are making moves against well, an old god or the game, whatever you want to say your enemy is in World of Horror. Um, yeah, you're making chess moves against them. Um, because there are, it's not just a combination of events, because those are random. Uh, which, or, which order of events you get is random? It's the permutation of events, because obviously, if you if uh, an event makes you lose, say, 12 reason, but then you get, an, uh, you get an event where, hey, you can lose 6 reason, but get a free perk. Obviously, when those events are switched around, you are more probably more willing to lose like six uh 12 six reason or something like that again you kind of i uh, hope you kind of get what i'm talking about i could just eat three damage to the face here do i want to is the question um so throwing that actually i can check right i feel like i did three damage no four damage uh, that's right it does four why do i why did i forget that again a lot of things to remember basically but four damage would that have gotten me out because then i could brace into a regular and i don't think i that would have helped me um so all things considered three all on a boss i mean it's still i that would be I, you know if you can take it then it's good uh but normally i still wouldn't try to because the question would have been i throw for four and then yeah i would have to take a risk Probably use the baseball, all things considered. I probably should use the baseball. Um, that will allow me to 100% this. That way I only take minus 2 all instead of minus 3 all. Again, small optimizations, but when you do it several times in a run, it obviously, you know, it becomes, it goes from one point, which I still think is important to in World of Four, to a, um, you know, a, a larger amount of resources saved, if that makes any sense. Also, why am I doing this again? Well, too late. <laughs> uh, so I guess we're gonna throw the bottle of water, and you know, I now I'm hoping I lose the thing. Well, eh, yeah. Anywho, yeah. Not if I lose the bath, then this would be useful. I mean, I only have one bath. Well, no, two. I have two bath uses remaining, so I really shouldn't have done that. But I really still shouldn't have done what I did, basically, because I could have still gotten out in minus three all just by bracing and attacking. But hey. So, uh, but if we're going to save the stamina and reason, I might as well make use of that bottle. Even though, you know, number-wise, that was not the most efficient thing to do. If un if I had, uh, unless I had lost bath, which I didn't even check. No, we got riots. So, whoops. <laughs> because then I could have thrown that empty bottle away now for sailors if I wanted to, or kept it and tried to do other things. Although, that being said, with the when we have the history club, I might as well do a thing. Also, I'll do this first, because if we get a brick, we can throw that away. Uh, but that didn't happen, so let's proceed through Sailors. Um, Seaside, question mark? Yeah, Seaside, max threat level. I was looking right at it, and I forgot, <laughs> but anywho. Um, help our friend, go do strength things, go downtown again, because that's Sailors. And into Stock Chan, and we have uh, Kana, so... He, she, or they will provide us much needed mitigation, so we take a lot less damage. And I can focus uh, on doing prep attack, prep attack. Uh, because, yeah, with the um, with brace being the calculation it is, uh, being able to brace prep attack as Yumiko, again, you're, you know, sits fine with me. It's just, uh, yeah, and then here's, here's a big tanky boy that can also drain it. I used to think vampires always did. Obviously, I did a test. Unless I'm just in a different reality. I forgot to also smoke these cigarettes, but hey. Um, I think I want to do this and then brace, maybe. 12 into 16. 16? Oh, no, I'm off. Unless I throw the branch. Which I could. Might even be able to fight the sailor's boss, if we're on timeline B. Um... But 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 what do I want to do? Uh, what do I feel like doing? Two reason. I forgot my lighthouse checks. <laughs> now that I think about it, anywho, uh, yeah, we're sure we're just gonna do this. Um, and then brace next turn. Enemy did regain health, but even if uh, you know, um, he drained me both turns. I have a branch to throw, and I think I'll just uh, history club for the thing so i perfect yeah so as i said even if he drains me both turns 
Um, or maybe some uh, vampire enemies do every turn and some don't. I know some don't, but anywho. Uh, we can still run to another back-to-back -back encounter, so let's smoke these cigarettes now. And find out. There's one Yumiko event. Again, play the game yourself, please, if you want to uh, enjoy yourself uh, and immerse yourself as we get... <laughs> <laughs> my goodness well thankfully we should be able to rest tell me we don't have fed i mean i'm still gonna rest at least once or twice but yeah this is painful actually this is more efficient regardless so yeah we lose stats but we just have to eat that in the face and let's grab some uh items to throw away probably lump of flesh too i know that's stamina healing but bad things can happen and away we go so um yeah, we have five strength now, but we have the power of smoked cigarettes. Unfortunately, with one or two points of strength, I probably could have fit in a prep attack. I'm kind of uh, not willing to do the calculations right now, but we're also taking minus three all. So <gasps> with cigarettes, five strength, the threshold is broken. Um, So we're going to do this because we're going to do this. So we should be able to do this tw uh, two or three times. And if I want to go out of my mind, I can throw the lucky bat, but we're not going to do that. Um, and then get out with this. Yeah, definitely. With Yumi Yumiko, definitely a slow burn. But, uh, let's do the thing. And be careful not to accidentally, uh, do a thing. We're on timeline A. But, um, better to play it safe. Because after that encounter, uh, I didn't want to fight the boss. I probably would have died. So, um, away we go. Yeah, nothing we can really do here. And all of these are not going to be useful. Um, so we'll heal Reason and just uh, face tank slash brute force the lighthouse and be happy with life. So, without further ado, um, we're just, I'm just gonna, you know, whether I live or die, you can, you can kind of see, um, we're good no matter what. We do have to focus on finding Takshi-san, but that will be a thing. I'll just practice hand doing handcuff tech and we'll move on to an Azal run. Azal run. But um, I did want to do Zektast Yumiko now that Zektast is not bugged. And Yumiko is buffed. You, we get a double feature of both um, as we move on from this. So, uh, yeah. Oh, we had bonus damage. I could have... Well, now we just now Takshi-san just loses. But, uh, yeah, we get a proper Yumiko showcase, or at least after a patch. Because, uh, you know, when someone's... Ch I would call this a more significant change. If it had just been, hey, Yumiko got a perk... Then, yeah, but then I was also informed that Yumiko had a time unit increase on her lucky bet. Uh, so, therefore, it would, you know, giving Yumiko another video to... Oh, spoiler character! Um, so, if I made a cut... Oh, my goodness, I have to do things. But, uh, <laughs> Azal... Uh, into Azal Exquisite Taste Character Exclusive Yumiko. And I don't I don't know where exactly I'm going to be making this cut. But uh, we'll make it s somewhere and uh, move on with life. So into the lighthouse really quick but again yeah feel felt like yumiko deserved another chance so uh knowledge light dexterity takshisan second mystery and strength maybe i would like that but we'll see and uh yeah we'll see what we can do so um probably no baseball bat although i have gone without resting um i'm just gonna play it safe and we will actually set History Club still. All of the, a lot of the Moria locations are seeing use. And then we set Monument here, funny enough. Uh, even if we have Ward, uh, Monument is usually more used. If you don't have Monument unlocked, though, well, Illegal Den is the pick, I guess. And if you have Hardware Store, we'll see. <laughs> um, but anywho, Ghostly Spear. Well, that's one way to win the in-game lottery of spells, but... Uh, that would be like an ultra rare, I guess, if we're talking gotcha terms, but uh, let's see what we have on our plate. Oh my gosh. Please, can I get the rumor? Please, can I get the rumor? Oh, uh, my eyes. I'm not going to stay in there. <laughs> if we do a force investigation, so be it. Festival, Metamorphosis, Scissors, Hell, and Akamanto. So, oh, my eyes. Um, hmm. Uh, Akamanto probably third or fourth, uh, depending on if I do scissors. Metamorph because we have metamorphosis as well, and this is a metamorphosis. Uh, is a, I can understand why it's in the final or full pack card, uh, full card pack. I'd mix those. I'm turning into a certain uh, green alien, alien question mark, but cool guy. But anywho, two for each fun, so 
I'm probably just going to eat the two Doom because, I, again, if I were to weigh them objectively, throw away one fund at the end of a mystery, or before the end somehow, if I can, actually. That's right. I don't have control over that, do I? Um, aside from going into shops, but that might be more Doom. Well, for one or two Doom, anyway. Um, yeah, so let's move on. Actually, I have the police station, but we can still move on. So, downtown village. So, we have Akamanto, so I'm just going to default to downtown, because I know I have downtown investigations in Akamanto, at least two. But, um, yeah, let's level up ASAP and see what we can do with our lives. So, I'm, again, I'm still trying to think uh, for funds. Um... Because the weird and this can direct indirectly apply to Yumiko because it, say if you're run whether you are working with base events or custom events mysteries and characters or uh and, um mysteries sorry mysteries and enemies and events um, if a lot of them lean towards doom therefore you can think about it in the way that if Yumiko defeats those enemies or has an easier time with some of those events doom well we're gonna get frostbite no matter what unfortunately but um. Yeah, if Yumiko can basically deal with the do with doom decreases on her own, then Azel becomes less of a threat because you theoretically have more um, doom to spend. If that makes any sense. Yeah, let's just take three reason in the face. I normally wouldn't, but we have two strength. Our brace action is well, just to show you, uh, one forty nine time units needed. So uh, I'll be just fine with six. Six is mediocre, but it's uh, definitely a lot better than. Uh, four or five per turn six at least is still a uh, you know a nice split for a lot of enemies in my mind but eight is where you usually want to be at especially uh, later on in the run but you do still want to actually do better than eight per turn so anywho broken bottle will help again find any source of damage you can if the numbers work out in your favor dexterity please nope I did need some good luck. We could just end up dying immediately. That would be funny. Uh, I did have Ghostly Spear, and actually we're immediately off of Encounter Lockout. I don't know what else to call it. There's probably a better term. Please think of a, if you have a better term, let me know. But um, so we lose two max stamina here, but I think it's well worth it. Um, we can throw the broken bottle and then prep strong our way out. Correct? Yes. So we'll do that. Well, we could have desperate action. We could have desperate action. <laughs> Whoops, I says someone who tells you to think about Desperate Show. Again, I'm kind of just turning my brain off, but uh, that's no excuse, really. Um, at least I caught it in in the moment. So there are things I still don't catch. So again, uh, you, the person watching, are likely to become a better World of Horror player than I am, even though I have like, uh, like over a thousand hours as I look over at my Steam and see zero because I don't have the game on Steam. Anywho, uh, moving onward. So we take one, uh, two from the one, do uh, two Doom from the one fund, right? And then we get time skip, but that's the game deciding to put more pressure, uh, on me, but... Uh, let's also get rid, because I think I usually leave Doctor's office. Unfortunately, this means I can't, well, actually, yeah, let's take Metamorphosis now. Well, we should be able to level up, hopefully. Uh, we're also going to lose more Doom, because um, I want to keep Ghostly Spear, at least for another mystery or two, until I make use of it. So that, so what I'm thinking again right now is that um, that mis the spell Parasite, I'm just going to call them Parasites, the spell Parasite um, pressures you. To make use of your spells earlier um in but number wise you're looking at the trade-off so is the doom cost at the end of a mystery for a a spell worth uh taking the doom or do you, you get more value out of keeping the spell and using it more often uh i said i was going to take care of the frostbite that could have been bad um unfortunately i don't have any other way to get funds reliably but this frostbite yumiko with frostbite is not fun um so uh we'll grab the painkillers while we're here we might as well do a twofer and make use of this we show we so yeah we should be able to level up now and we get swinging hit. we're just really lucky oftentimes on my off recordings i don't get swing and hit this is before and after um the relative or the buff it's not relative it's a buff but anywho um can i even do this yes i can five strength is the threshold because on easier difficulties uh, easier difficulties, you would have five strength, but unfortunately on Harbinger, you gotta work a bit harder for it. So, 
whether again whether that's getting a time increase some way or uh just playing through the game normally ish without any tainted violin cigarette usage um weird uh, i'm sure there's like a few more but anywho um these foods uh, these funds would be nice i do have akamanto so i'm gonna take the risk and barely miss the out on that because that event grants you funds and i yeah i do love grabbing cigarettes from the vending machine or the dog shop let's be serious i'll probably dog shop <laughs> if i don't have it's that because in a way because i think cigarettes cost less in the dog shop funny enough so the doom you spend getting funds for the vending machine if you're going for cigarettes it's i'm mean, there's a small difference but it's there anywho uh, hopefully this doesn't drain. Well, we're gonna find out. So we're gonna find out. So he he did drain health, uh, which means I'm gonna brace here. Um, because after this, he should. If he drains my HP again, I can. I'm still within. Uh, the, uh, yeah, he didn't drain health that time because didn't drain health that time. So uh, away I go. Yeah, taking care of things. So uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a. I, well, like, I don't usually edit my. I keep edits really real minimum. Um, both you, I mean, the main reasons for that are just usually in the interest of, uh, I think I'm in trouble here, uh, in the interest of my own time. And also, uh, there's something else I wanted to say, but, um, oh, I, uh, and, um, I want to be not, I guess I can't find the words for it to be true as to myself as possible, um, uh, which you could have also seen through streams. And, uh, yeah, this is a heck of a thing. So, uh, I think we do our best here. But this could be the relative end. Uh, yeah, thankfully I have Ghostly Spear, but how many times do I really want to cast it? I'm at 11 max stamina last I remember, but I think I have to use it at least once. Um, and then depending on our RNG, 65%, um, we'll see what happens. So we missed that one. I could trade stamina for reason. Do I get to actually do that? I don't think I do, do I? Yeah, I don't. So, uh, we, yeah, we definitely use it twice. And I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like gambling my, uh, run on 55%. So, and I don't even get out. Yeah, I would be missing 1 HP. So, nonetheless, we'll have to cast Ghostly Spear. That's just a consequence of being, uh... Yumiko. And with that, we can actually forget it. I don't feel like going any lower. It could help. It could save me later on. But... Actually, if we're going to forget the spell, we could have used another turn, but it's too late now. And then we take our 2% Doom. That's a very, sm well, not small, but it's a consequence. But uh, if I play correctly, it should uh, be still be fine. What you don't want is your Doom increasing by 10. That's not going to go, that's not going to end well. Um, So let's do Akamanto. Scissor Lady is still relatively uh less difficult to me on average. But we'll find out. So no no gossip, just pain. And uh, definitely going to be pain because we're going to lose upwards of 4 stamina. I can't remember if it's... I feel like it fluctuates still. And that's why that event was buffed in your favor. Um, or the uh, pre-Akamanto event was buffed in your favor. But anywho. So yeah, the, two, the four, over 4% 4 doom that we lost... Uh, could have been used for another rest, but again, that's that's the old god taking effect, not anything else. And yeah, we can't even grab a pack of cigarettes because we enabled police station, which arguably and much more reliably is well. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. The reason why is because uh, let's just take this. Yeah, that is nice. Um, but the reason I'm saying that is that if you enable inventing machines instead, uh, and you somehow get, say, 12 funds in, in the middle of your first mystery, then I would, I personally would use vending machines. But because that's not a normal occurrence, uh, I have to take what I believe is uh, the more reliable option. And that's Police Station. Uh, for exquisite taste, anyway. Um, do I one-shot Akamanto? You know, funny enough, if I had kept Ghostly Spear, probably. But, uh, since we're likely, do we... Yeah, we have 14 damage on our Desperate Struggle, so we'll just do this. Right. And uh, move on with life. I talked about it at the uh, start of this video and I proceeded to forget. We have a lump of flesh now, but we still need to heal Reason, because I'm pretty sure Akamanto gets to smack us once before anything else. 
So, yeah. So, injuries, curses, and funds are the rules. Thankfully, I didn't get the experience rule. That is the big oof one. And, uh, well, we are on Akamato. I get to rest again, but... I actually should have rested more, because if we get fetid fumes, this is going to be a heck of a thing. Let's risk the reason here, and take super, super reason damage, and, uh, yeah, let's take this as well. So, um, uh, what do we do here? We do do 14, so I think we can handcuffs here. This is 26, next turn is 14, into 12 handcuffs. So, uh, yeah, unless I mess up my handcuffs, but that would... I mean, I'd still end the video, because there's nothing I can do with the lost run, but... Hey. Hup. Hup. Good. Uh, we can now equip the Crestfallen Mask. I shouldn't really be getting anything else, and even if I did... Um, yeah, anywho. Scissors with 4 Stamina and 3 Reason. Am I out of my mind? Yes, I am. So... Uh, we live well. We have fest. Well, we have festival incenses. Never mind. We'll take festival first. <laughs> Two for each ally. That's if it's Iwa, and we have relatively low doom. So be it. Um, we are going to spend six doom for three stamina and three reason, though, and move on. So, especially since allies cost doom anyway, if I'm going to lose two doom per ally, I might as well spend that doom instead. Uh, and whatever it would have cost me to get an ally, um, recovering stamina and reason. Unfortunately, I do need to take. I want to take some risks because I would. It would be nice to pass some checks, but you know, uh, Radipa, uh, let's get in. Let's get back in. Where will I do it again? I mean, this is near the end of the run, but when real life happens, real life happens. For all, by the way, from the Snoo Snoo monster. Um, again, I call that because the nose looks so fuzzy and warm. But anywho, I mean, I'm sure it's made of something else. But I, you listen, when you show me a blob or something, I think something else. Anywho. I forgot what that test is called. I'm going out of my mind right now. Do I just want to brace this? Uh, or do I just want to run? Minus two all. I know I can do this in minus two all. Uh, the question I'm asking myself is, how much experience does this give me? <laughs> um, yeah, it would be great to do more. If you get bonus damage, I could. But uh, since I'm not sure, more research is required. Um, also, off the uh, out of la random, random, random left field. Yes, you only need to encounter the dream enemies to for them to count. That being said, if it is not your last one, then obviously you need to somehow survive the encounter, either through defeating the enemy or otherwise. But just wanted to try and track down where uh, you know solidify that information. Unless, of course, that's been changed. Again, I, if it sounds like I'm not certain, and I really should just present myself as more, not confident, but more certain, uh, is because uh, there are things, again, because I don't know everything there is to know about this game, as I proceed to do this, six through, six doom, ooh, that's too much. Mm, as much as I would like it. And funny enough, we do need encounters like this, because otherwise you could do weird things where uh, you throw items and then defeat it. Because And obviously there's a hidden HP counter. Now, if we, could, if we somehow are able to influence that, but until then... So, the question is, do I want to take pretty much 12 Doom, or 15, doing this? The answer is no, so we're just going to take 5... Uh, let's take a look at our Parasite really quickly. Spells, Injuries, Allies, and Funds. So really, we should only be taking two Doom, question mark? Yep. And we'll move on. Again, the Spiral Hood would be nice, but at the cost of, like, 15% Doom? No. Um, considering we're also on, um... Azal. So... Take strength, move on with life. Hopefully I didn't need the healing. Um, healing would not be a bad idea either. And because I've made so many cuts and had to do real life stuff, I definitely forgot my second encounter check. But into scissors we go with 7 stamina and 8 reason. Here's the experience rule, by the way. Um, has that been changed? No, that hasn't been changed. Anywho. Um, so we're probably losing 6 doom in this mystery. I'm just going to assume my experience hits 40 or 50. Uh, well, if it's 50, then I lose uh, 7 Doom, but you get what I mean. We're on timeline A as well. So, Star, Fishing Star, is how I remember that. Because it looks like, you know, there's a line being, a line of lure, 
with that uh, B sigil, I call it. And then the A one is a uh, star. So, hey, I could fight this, but let's just eat a bunch of reason and move on with life. I'm pretty sure that ghost would have done more damage. But it's been a long time since I fought. And that ghost in particular, I know, is an easier encounter. Unfortunately, that's not what I did. So, yeah. Uh, again, considering we're in scissors, I'm going to run from this as well. Um, and also because, well, experience right now is Azal things, so yeah. We could run from this one as well, which I probably am. And now my Doom is shooting up through the roof, but I think it's, uh, merited, but I could have also fought those. Again, it's because I'm in timeline A, and I think this is the first time in a long, long while, as we roll a 12 on Charisma, plus one, um, that I fought in Scissor Lady on the final mystery as if, uh, she were the boss to prepare for. Which you can do. It's something I normally would do if I were challenging myself in some way. But, uh, yeah, on the fifth mystery, Scissor Woman uh, now has this much. So, uh, yeah. Um, I wanted to be silent for a moment so I could catch that on video. Because I do need it for my battle video, which has yet to come out. Minus for all. I really can't take that. So, uh... Let's find out. I don't want to do this. What do we do? I don't want to lose reason. I'm looking at my reason mainly. Um, 79%. Hmm. Do I need to do this twice? That would be 8, and then I throw the wooden bat. It would. It would absolutely help out. Of course, that means I'd have to drop to one reason, but... We might as well inch our way there. Well, Scissor Women raises her scissors, so I definitely want to do um, a thing. Now, I can still take two all damage if I brace, but... Alternatively, for the funsies, I could do this. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get prep, so never mind. Scratch that idea. Uh, because my charisma is not at 8, and we don't have a light source, which means the lighthouse is going to be very painful. Um, I don't think I have much of a choice, though. So we just eat this in the face. And pray. Yeah, and pray. So, uh, we shouldn't die here. And then we could throw the wooden bat and do this. This is guaranteed, but maybe I should have taken a risk. It's too late now, because I've already made my decision, but hey... Um, and we get the 5 Doom, because that's experience plus the thing. And now, uh, let me take a look first so I can heal in the bath properly. Knowledge, we don't have, well, we have a light source check, so we should be fine on reason. Uh, but we don't have any stamina. We don't have the 6th floor, so I'm not losing 9. I am losing 6, however. Um, so we probably need to rest once, and our second mystery is all we need to worry about afterward. Theoretically, unless unless I'm reading the sigils wrong for whatever reason. But, uh, let's do this. And we might be okay. So, let's find out. Um, knowledge, light, dexterity, six stamina, doom, second mystery. We should be fine. If we're not, well... We can always think about ways we could have done better. So, um, without further ado, we don't have anything else, so we should be able to just rest once and move on with life. Just to make sure if we're nothing else, uh, Takshi san worker. I used my handcuffs on someone, didn't I? Yeah, on uh, Akamanto. I have the crestfallen mask to show for it. But, that should be the end of this run, so I'll just do end of video stuff right now, whether I uh, survive or not. Uh, if you want to support me long term, please subscribe to the channel, that would help a lot. Um, help me in putting out more World of Horror videos, especially, again, in the long term. Otherwise, uh, here we are. And I'm probably just going to throw, if nothing else, we're going to see how much damage the Lucky Bat does when thrown. We get bonus damage anyway, so we can definitely find out, but... Uh, four damage, and what is, just, does this, nah, that doesn't bug me out, and it does do four damage when thrown. What I mean by that is that, uh, yeah, I don't somehow lose damage, but anywho. Um, I did meta, oh, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> uh, I did something. Wow, I really forgot. Uh, I did Festival 4th in school, uh, Scissors 5th. 
Third was Akamanto. And I'm pretty sure I did Metamorphosis second because I was like, oh, scary boss. So, yeah, let's do that. And uh, let's look at this hole in the ground and we will get out. So, without further ado, I want to, won't take up more of your time. Uh, I will be making more videos, but when they'll come out, we'll see. So, I won't take up much more of your time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!